welcome to your September 2021 love reading. So this is for those of you that are completely single, don't have anybody on your mind, just want to kind of find out who this next person you could be dealing with is, what they're like, all that good stuff. All right, Pisces, thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. Thank you to all my subscribers. If you haven't yet subscribed, please consider doing so. And if this video resonates, let me know in the comments and hit that thumbs up button. First card out, the full Aries energy. The Ten of Swords. Four of Cups. I can already see what this person is doing. But let's keep going here. The Wheel, the Queen of Cups, and the Nine of Coins. Okay, Pisces. So this next person, you guys look crooked to me. Let me fix you. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> anyway, okay, so they are coming in here in this full energy. Could be an Aries, don't have to be. But they're ready to just really jump right into something with you or will be. The thing that I see with this person, though, they're just recently out of a relationship. Or this is somebody that you've dealt with in the past. And uh, there's this, like, leftover hurt between you two. Um... Let's get one on that full though, but they're like, I don't know if it's a good or bad thing, but they're going to be like all in right away. And I don't know if it's because they just want to take a chance or if it's because, you know how some people can't be single and they just get out of a breakup and have to, you know, go right into another relationship. I don't know yet, <laughs> but we'll figure it out. All right, let's see. What can we get on this full energy for this next person Pisces singles could be dealing with? The Page of Wands. So, yeah, fast moving. It's going to start out really sexual. Um, it might just be that they just find you so hot that they don't have any, any questions. They just want to do it, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Will the attraction be instant? That's where this Ten of Swords comes in. No. But I think if it's not for you, it might be because you still have some leftover hurt from something in the past. You know what I mean? Um, it's the energy of crisis, heartbreak. So the attraction might be instant if it weren't for somebody's leftover hurt is what I mean. And the Five of Swords. Yeah, there's going to be some, like, conflicting emotions here. So one of you is is just going to be out of something, whether it's an actual relationship or just a situation that was hurtful. So there's going to be some conflict here, like, do I want to get involved in something else right now? Um, am I really into this person, or am I just tr trying to fill a void? And that's going to be for either one of you. Okay. What will they be like? The Four of Cups in their head. So, and they're going to have quite a few options here. This is also Cancer Energy. Um, I think that, you know, they really want to take a chance. They really want to jump right in with you. But I think that they're going to just be kind of like unsure. Unsure about what it is that you want. So, they might not offer up any actual emotion. It just might be attraction. We'll see though. The Seven of Pentacles. All right, well, they are willing to put in the work. They're just, um, I think that they're kind of in a mindset of they're just going to do whatever. They're just going to go with whatever really fast. Whatever happens, happens. They are willing to put in the work, but I don't think that they're putting that much thought into it. You know? <coughs> Your challenges, the wheel, it might be a timing issue. Um, again, somebody's obviously going through something here, so it might be that if it weren't for that, you guys would be great. But there is that. There is that leftover something here. Somebody's conflicted, um, so it might just be a timing issue. What can you do to help that situation? The Queen of Cups, just be loving with yourself and whoever. Like, if it's you in this place, uh, practice self-care, love yourself, 
take care of yourself so that you can get past that and move forward, you know? Um, because it might be that this just needs to wait a little bit. That this person might need to hold on with wanting to jump right in because you might have some things that you need to resolve within yourself um, so that you can offer up any real emotion. <clears throat> this is also about following your heart. What, where, how will you guys meet? You have the nine of coins here. This is about independence. So it's also my single lady card. So it can be like, um, once you're actually single and don't have leftover emotion, or they are, um, coins though is generally slow moving energy. So it's, it's kind of going to take a while. I would say, eh, I would say at least nine weeks or so for anything to get like off the ground for real. Doesn't mean it'll take that long to meet them, but for anything to really happen, I think it will probably take about that long. It's when somebody feels feels healthy enough to get in a relationship, right? When somebody feels like they're good by their self, whether it's you or them, then it's going to be then it's going to be the right time. Yeah, and the Ace of Wands, and then when it happens, it's gonna move like that, like quick as shit. Ace of Wands is fire. It's it's the quickest moving energy in the deck. <coughs> this is also more passion, right along with that page of wands here. This is that new beginning after a period of being single and being okay with being single. After you get to that point, or they do, then it's gonna move really fast after that. Um it, this can also be the next fire season. And we are just now leaving Leo. So where does that put us? Um, where are we even at? We are in September. So uh, Sagittarius, I would say by Sagittarius season and that will go right along with the right around nine weeks, okay? Um, I hope this helps you guys. Let me know if you have any other questions um, if I can help you with anything else here actually you know what I am gonna help you with something else here I'm gonna get you an advice before we leave here because this one's kind of kind of challenging the ace of coins nice well now you've got two aces here so the, with the ace of coins being an advice card focus on what you want out of a commitment understand that whatever is going on here with if this is you with this hurt, understand that there is an offer of real commitment coming in here and don't settle for anything less. So you've got this ace of wands, right? That's cool. That's a new beginning. That's attraction. It's passion, but it's not very committed. Um, it could get there, but this is what you're looking for. Then don't settle for anything less than that. It's there for you. The opportunity is there for you. It's just about waiting for it. Okay. All right. I love you guys. Take care.